everyone, it's Megan from ABLE and we're coming to you from Cine Gear 2016 and I'm here with Art Adams with DSC Labs and we're talking about the latest color chart that he's helped design. So Art, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, um, I wanted a chart that was specific to the film industry uh, that would assist with color grading because you know back in the good old film days we used to have the, the Kodak gray card. You know, it was just a gray card, it had a white and a black patch. And for film, that was all you needed because you just make the gray card gray, print it at the right density, let it run, everything's fine. You can't do that with video. In a lot of situations, like uh, you know, every every camera has a color matrix inside, and it's a, a particular way of you know bending the camera color into a into a different color space for for viewing. That affects all of these colors, but you can mess it up pretty good, and nothing will happen to these. So if you just use you know, white and gray, you can get the white balance right, but if there's a problem inside the camera at a deeper level, you'll never get the color back unless you have these references. Now these are all primary and secondary colors that you find on any vector scope. So red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow. And once, you know, since you know where these fall, if they're in the wrong spots, you can always bend them back and, and save yourself. So that's the idea behind the chart. Um, you know, flesh tone references, um, they all follow along the same, uh, you know, the line, the eye line between um, yellow and red. So they have a, a spot they fall as well. So basically, if you shoot one of these and you line up on it in grading and let it rip, everything should be, you know, pretty darn accurate. And also, if you're applying a LUT, if you grade to this first and then apply the LUT, then everything is also consistently, you know, has a consistent look to it. And this is integrated into Resolve right now it as well? It is. Um, you go into their, their automatic color chart um, you know, uh, system and then you, you drag the little um, squares so they fall on top of the right patches and you go match and it works. The one thing you want to do is there, at the bottom there's a little, I forget what it's called, it might be called white or white level. Uh, it's normally set at one. You don't really want that because this white uh, in the Rec. 709 standard falls at 100% um, on a waveform. But this is only two stops brighter than this is. And most cameras get six or seven stops more. So you want to take that setting down to like 0.8 or 0.7 and then that maps this lower so you still have a lot of room for your highlights. Otherwise it'll just take this up to 100% and wham, you know, cut off all that extra stuff that we love and we want to preserve that. But otherwise it works great. I've been playing with it here in the booth and it does a phenomenal job. And I love the form factor. It looks like a great thing to have in your kit, Very right? Portable. The one other thing I should mention is a lot of people ask why we don't make this in a mat. We, we do, but it's not as accurate. And one of the reasons is that's the difference between a matte black and a glossy black. Right. The, uh, a matte yeah, a matte surface will, is always reflecting light. It doesn't look like it because you can't see hard reflections, but they're soft reflections. And that makes the color and uh, the blacks uh, brighter and less accurate. So by putting the gloss on, you do see more reflections, but once you get rid of the reflections, the, the color and is really, I mean, the, the, the little dot on the vector scope for, goes from that to that. It, it's really much more precise. And then the black is much deeper, which helps for you know, making your blacks the right color. And I assume you bring this with you everywhere as well for your I shoots? Do. I love this thing. And uh, yeah, I, it's, it's not just uh, a way for me to, it, it's, it's quality control. Right. You know, it, so hopefully the colorist sees this and if I've shot under some weird lights, they can fix it very quickly. But it also if something weird goes wrong, I can go, hey, show me, show me what you did with the chart. Too. Nice. And it's shipping now. And tell me a little bit about the price point. Uh, too. It's, I believe it's $300, $307. Uh, it's shipping now. Yeah. Uh, probably best to contact DSC Labs, dsclabs.com. And uh, yeah, okay. they're, they're current and they're great. I love them. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Art. And Thank thanks much. for watching.